guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome. Iraq is suffering the same fate as Africa when it comes to the Russian-Ukraine war. The only difference is Iraq benefits from the increase in oil prices and oil exports. Iraq has suffered from a food shortages, whereas Africa is facing potential starvation because grain cannot be delivered from the Ukraine via the Black Sea. The Turkish pipeline, the Iranian electricity, ups and downs, the decrease of the water flow from Turkey into the Iraqi rivers, all of this is the same game of denial and roadblocks. How can we report on one without reporting on the other, especially when all of this affects the currency rates? On the surface, this next news story does not seem like much, but just think about what this will do for Iraq. Based on news reports, Manufacturing seems to be Iraq's middle name after oil exports. And this article confirms our suspicions. The Iraqi Industries Union announced on Sunday that a plan has been presented to the Prime Minister detailing how to reopen factories that are currently closed. The Iraqi government is taking this issue seriously and has expressed its eagerness to help restore industry in Iraq. Applications from potential investors have been accepted and billions of dollars are being invested. Iraq's neighbors, including Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Jordan, are all committed to investments in Iraq.